name is Dr. Ika Flock. I'm the co-director of emergency ultrasound at the University of Florida. Today we're going to be looking at how to obtain a left ventricular short axis view. This is uh, especially useful view for assessing ejection fraction but also for evaluating for left ventricular region of wall motion abnormalities. It helps to place the patient in the left lateral decubitus position, however, doing it in a supine patient certainly is alright as well. The easiest way to obtain the short axis view is to obtain the long axis view first with the transducer indicator pointed towards the right shoulder and then once you have an adequate long axis just over the level of the mitral valve go ahead and rotate your transducer 90 degrees clockwise pointing the transducer indicator now towards the left shoulder. This gives us a left ventricular short axis view with the left ventricle in a rounded appearance. The right ventricle is anterior in a triangular appearance. We're at the level of the papillary muscles. Here's the medial as well as the lateral papillary muscles. At this point we can again assess for ejection fraction as well as regional wall motion abnormalities. A mnemonic for the different left ventricular segments is SALPI, S-A-L-P-I. It stands for septal segment, anterior segment, lateral segment, posterior segment, and inferior segment. From the view at the papillary muscles, we can fan downward towards the apex evaluating for apical contraction, or we can fan upward towards the right shoulder until we can see a fish mouth like valve coming to view. This is of course the mitral valve. If we keep fanning up from this point, the aortic valve comes into view, which you can see is a tricuspid valve. 